Okay, Paso Fright fans, we are here at Keen Halloween. That's right, the resurrection of an event that was back a few years ago, a partnership between Steam Crow and Phoenix Comic Con. Man, it has been an awesome time thus far, and I'm here with Jeff Westman of ArtTimes.com. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm excellent, man. Getting all fright-tastic. This is a cool preliminary event to Halloween just to get people all worked up and stuff. Now, as far as the spooktacular, you've got some stuff on display here. I saw some Shining. I saw some Jaws. Some, what really gravitates you towards the scary stuff? Is that maybe your preference, or do you like a nice mixture of lots of things? I like a mixture of a lot of things, but I, I have always been in love with horror since I was little. I think Jaws... I was so scared by Jaws when I was a kid, but then it became like an obsession. Like it was on TV when I was, you know, a kid in the 70s, and I'd always watch Jaws, and I would draw Jaws. And King Kong was another one I couldn't get enough of. I was working uh, mainly in Hollywood area, working on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I started off on Power Rangers, and then I moved into um, Smallville, and, um, and then I started working as the lead artist on Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel and then Charmed, so I got to do all those magical power, yeah. 2D effects, electrical things, you know. Every, anything Willow did was me. So. Yeah, and then we know Willow got witch-tastic later on, so. Yes, he did. <laughs> Very nice, so um, what was with the, did you change your approach as far as the type of art you were doing then? Was it more like like practical effects or post, post-production stuff, or what, what exactly was your? It was all 2D, like computer graphics stuff, not really 3D animation, 2D stuff, um, more magical powers. Um, but I would also get to do some creature design every once in a while and a lot of storyboards for the different shows too, which was really fun. And then I got to come back. After I kind of made the move out here, I would go freelance back in L.A. and I worked on uh, the Terminator TV series. and got Sarah Connor Chronicles, yeah. Exactly. I got myself an Emmy nomination out of that one in 2007. So, yeah, so it was a good time. It was fun. Nice. So um, maybe since we already mentioned Jaws, is there a favorite franchise, a particular film that is iconic maybe of like newer horror? I really like the ghosty stuff, like Insidious. I really like that franchise. Paranormal, the first one blew me away. Like I couldn't sleep for a week after I saw that one messed me up. But I really like the Insidious movie. I really like Con The Conjuring films. Um, but yeah, I, I grew up on, um, you know, The Shining and, and The Exorcist and... You know, those are, they're still, they hold up, man. They're still scary. Now they're doing the Exorcist TV show now, so. The Power Rangers thing, I know that's not as scary, but maybe Rita scared some, you know, young kids and whatnot. What's your thoughts on this new reboot where they're kind of going darker with the tone of everything? Have you heard much about it, or? I have a little bit, not enough. I've seen, like, a movie poster. I've seen the costume design. But I'm very curious because, um, yeah, I think it could be a really cool direction. I saw that little short film that... Um, had uh, Dawson in it, James Van Der Beek. Yeah, and I thought that was pretty impressive. It was pretty cool. So if they kind of, I don't, I don't think they're going to go that dark, but. Yeah, um, they were dropping F-bombs, and it was all violent and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm anxious to see the movie. I'll go check it out for sure. Now, so is there a particular spark that transpires to really just give you that motivation to tackle a certain horror property, or is it more so commission work, or, I mean, a little of both, perhaps? Or It's a deep love when I do it, because here's the thing. I kind of fell in love with the Drew Struzan thing. If you know who Drew Struzan is, he did the posters for The Thing. He did Big Trouble in Little China, the Indiana Jones movies, and then the Star Wars, when they brought it back out, he redid those posters. But I love to see posters where it's like uh, a collaboration of what's going on in the movie and the characters. And there's some movies that have a really great poster, but they didn't have like that kind of a cool... You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So I like I did I did a first blood poster and I wanted to see every character and a little scene and then I did the Jaws one that I have here. So I, I it's kind of a thing that it's for me, but then I wind up finding fellow fans that when they see it they're like, Oh that's so awesome. So there's people out there that kinda wanna see that too, you know, which yeah. I'm finding out. I think Stranger Things even did kind of a similar thing yes. with that poster, right? Sure. Yes, yeah, so it felt like it was picked right out of the 80s, man. Absolutely. I love Stranger Things. Yeah, so that... Who the hell doesn't? I mean, come on. It was that good. Um, so, hey, we're going to get this guy to commission a Graboid image for us, I think, because we were sharing a fellow love of Tremors, right? Tremors so much. So cool. So do you have a favorite horror franchise then? I mean, is there one besides Jaws? I mean, I know the sequels to that were a little uh, diminishing returns possibly, but is there one that comes off as a personal favorite? Um, Franchise-wise, um, I, I liked, I enjoyed, you know, a few of the Freddies. Some of the Jasons were cool. 
Halloweens are kind of hit and miss. The first two were fantastic. The ones that really stick in my head. I mean, I love, there's those, those standalone ones that I just keep going back to, like Fright Night and The Lost Boys, and I just can't get enough of those. I'll throw them in anytime. Christine, The Thing, I mean, you just can't top those. <laughs> those are so great. So every, every like a month, I'll throw in one of my faves, you know, and, and just chill and draw while I'm watching in the background, you know. I've got get every, a little inspiration. Exactly, I got every line memorized, so I, it doesn't really distract me, but I just like to listen to it, you know. So uh, any cool uh, upcoming projects that you're involved with that we can mention to, you know, viewers, the Fright fans across the globe? I have a many, Irons in the fire, as they say right now. Um, our company, my friend Trey here, uh, we start our own company called Art Dimes, and uh, we have a Patreon account, and we're doing a whole bunch of things. We're going to be doing some movie pitches and some TV show pitches coming up soon, and, and a lot of them are in the horror genre. So I'm um, very excited about that, so you have to keep your eye out for that. And it's artdimes.com, and the Patreon is just Patreon slash artdimes. So okay. we're on Instagram and Twitter and uh, Facebook, everything, yeah. So I got to send a grande gracias here to Mr. Jeff West at the Keen Halloween event. We are so stoked to be a part of it. We're going to have lots more Frightastic coverage coming at you guys. So gracias, Jeff, to all the Fright fans across the globe. We appreciate you. And until next time, folks, stay scared.